So what you're going to see on this video today, my trip to Pereira with my friend Andrea, going to Price Mart. I'm going to explain in the video, well first of all, how and why I was accosted by the police. So I'll tell that little story. But then I'm going to talk about a little bit about Pereira, uh, but Price Mart. I'll explain why it was important to me to go what the meaning of Price Mart is, Price Mart being the Costco of South America, how it came to be, and why you're probably going to want to get a membership and go there when you come here to live. So come with me on this little trip to Pereira and see for yourself. My name is Lauren Lau and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. I'm off to Pereira to go to Price Mart, so come along with me. Well, the plan was to meet Andrea, or uh, you may know her as Jojo, um, at the bus terminal because it was kind of between where she lives and where I live. And so I go down and wait for a tag for the bus, and I wait and wait and wait. And lo and behold, the uh, bus doesn't want to come, and I'm getting late. So I jump in a taxi. and. I'm showing you here the Coliseum where there's concerts, things. There's also a bus stop where a lot of buses from out of town, so you don't have to go all the way to the terminal. You can get off there. My favorite place is the North Train Circle. I like to get off there and I can grab a taxi and it's below the minimum. Here you've got these apartment buildings with uh, all these stores and pandas below them. And as we roll into the terminal, the this big wall it's always your first clue if you're not sure where's the terminal just look for that wall now as I'm waiting for and and I have no problem with the police in Colombia they're everywhere they're checking things out and they're making sure everybody's safe and you know I admire and respect them uh, but I come in here and I'm waiting for Andrea and, I, and I, I arrive first so I take a snapshot of the ticket window uh, show her where I am you know it's just it, it's easier than trying to describe it and of course this officer comes up and says what are you doing and and he said give me your cedula so I ask why well you have to give your cedula it's um, it's the law and most countries are like that and, but when I said why, it cracked me up. He pointed to his vest where it said policia, and he said, policia, that's why. So I explained what was going on, and uh, everything was fine, and we had a good laugh. And so today, going to Pereira, um, going to Price Mart. It's, it's a nice ride. It's not real windy. It's a little bit, but it's a nice smooth road. Uh, the weather was beautiful. So we come rolling into Pereira and you see all the buildings. And while well, I've made it clear that this is not a place for me, I can say that I could see where people could happily live there. There's a lot going for it. Now, one of these days I'll try to, you know, shake off my bias a little bit, give you a little bit of a better uh, picture of it. So we roll into the bus terminal. Something I want to point out here at the terminal I think is kind of important. See I'm walking straight across to the other side. If you go to get a taxi out of this terminal there's only one place you get it. You can walk out anywhere else around the terminal and a taxi won't get you. They're not allowed to and it'll leave you a long hike so just you know go right through here down these ramps and that's where the taxi stand is save yourself a headache So there's a little line, uh, guys, you know, you flag down the taxi for you. They're, they're all waiting in line. We jump in and I tell them Price Mart and, you know, he knows where it is. So 
you know, we head off. It's about a 15 minute ride uh, just south of the terminal. And we go through some various neighborhoods. Some are traditional. Uh, as, as you get further out, you see apartment buildings that are a more uh, US style, uh, westernized. And out here you're gonna see a number of big stores like the Home Center, which is huge. Uh, this construction, but right next to it is the, the Home Center. Important place to shop. If you, pretty much anything you want, you're gonna find there. But why Price Mart? Carts are in the parking garage below the store, so you go down and grab a cart and you come back up. Kind of a crazy setup, but it's how it is. And this is uh, basically it's a Costco. Now, why is that? Uh, well, the founder of Price Mart uh, was back in the 70s, and it wasn't called Price Mart, but his last name is Price, and he created box stores like this in the United States and later he sold them to Costco. But he retained the rights for Central and South America. And so he, he made the name Price Mart, a play on his name, and it's Price Smart, actually. And in here, what you'll find are all the same products, essentially, as Costco. Uh, the same uh, generic name for them, member selection, some of the things that you'll see in Costco. Why Price Mart? Why, why is it important? You know, you can get, I, I just said that you can go to Home Center and get most anything you want. The thing that I like about the Costco is they'll have some very high quality items that are difficult to locate. For example, if you want some really nice bed sheets, you're going to pay too much even if you locate them. In the United States, you might pay $30, $40 for a nice set of sheets. And in Colombia, or God forbid, in Ecuador, where it's a couple hundred dollars if you find them. But in Colombia, you might pay a, you know $100 or more. In Price Mart, you find products that you would find in the United States through the Costco. So you can get nice sheets, and they might be a little more. They might be $50, but it's going to be a similar price, the same brand. And it goes for cookware, pots and pans, extremely high quality things that are difficult to locate here. Also, there's food items that you feel like you're at home because you're walking through and it's all the same brands. And you find local brands too that'll be these big bulk things. But, uh, you know, I'm walking down the aisle here and we've got cheeses. I've got Parmesan, I've got blue cheese, Danish blue cheese, Gouda cheese, and some of these you can find in the, in the stores. But here you find everything you want, particularly I love sharp cheddar. You can use it for a million things. I don't care for goat cheese, but they have goat cheese there. Smoked salmon at a, at a reasonable price, you know, big slabs of salmon. But here we've got U.S. grade A, whatever it is. These are ribeyes, priced about the same as in the United States. You can get them by the piece. You get a big hunk of meat and you can carve it up yourself. You know, that's a nice thing to have handy and available. So if you haven't been to Price Mart, you need to check it out. <laughs> 